Won the last two races here, and he won four of the last 11 Western Swing events. That's 36 percent. That's pretty good. He was runner up last week to Ron, Ca Ron Caps, and he's currently in the battle for that 10th and final position for the countdown to the championship. Well, we talked earlier about how some drivers do have a love-hate relationship with this place. And Tim Wilkerson obviously is someone who has a love relationship with the track here in Seattle. And he's trying to get his first number one here. Best he's ever been was third. John Force is going after it. 11 doesn't do it. Tim Wilkerson is number one in Seattle. And let's take at the take a look at the Lucas Oil ladder now and look down there at Tony Pedragon. Two time champ has lane choice the first time in 2011 as he goes up against Jeff Arendt. How about that? How about the other side of the ladder's brother Cruz going to have Jack Beckman in the first round. That should be a great matchup. Cruz will have the lane choice in that one. And over in Antron Brown's pit, in fact, under his Matco Tools top fuel dragster, they're doing maintenance, getting ready for tomorrow. He's really doing well right now. He's clinched into the points, currently sits third, has three wins this season, and here in Seattle, just got his first pole of the year, Mike. It's the last man to sweep the Western Swing. He did that in 2009. He's not going to do it this time, but coming off that win in Sonoma, can he get two in a row? He's gone off the good race car, Paul. It's the O'Reilly NHRA Northwest Nationals. 